Hi, my name is Chris Anderson, and I'd like to take you through the tour of glass manufacturing here at Sun Windows, incorporated in Owensboro, Kentucky. An insulated glass unit is two pieces of glass, and it's separated by an airspace in the middle with a spacer system separating those two pieces. It's found in every window that you have in your home. And here at Sun Windows, we manufacture 100% of all of our insulated glass units, which allows us to control our quality from the top to the bottom. I'd love to walk you through the process. It's broken out into seven steps or stages. We'll start with step one, which is glass cutting. You follow me this way. Insulating glass at Sun Windows starts with our vendor selection. Cardinal Industries is the leading supplier for residential commercial glass in North America. We're proud to source all of our glass from Cardinal. We backhaul the glass from separate facilities located in Georgia and North Carolina on our own trucks. That's critical that we control the quality and the shipping of that glass. When the glass is received here at our dock, we do a thorough inbound inspection of it, and then it is housed in, in rack systems of 72 by 96 sheets. Those sheets are then transitioned via forklift onto our carousel system, which houses a variety of low E coating and clear glass. Every insulated glass unit has both clear and low E uh, coating glass. Depending upon where you live in the United States, what region you are in geographically will depend upon the type of low E coating you have. The low E coating forms a microscopic boundary embedded in the glass, which reflects the heat rays in the summertime outside of the home. It keeps the cool air inside of your home, creating a nice warmth or, or comfort level inside your home and maximum energy efficiency. The selection process begins with our suction cup system, which will grab a piece of glass and then allow it to free fall onto our reverse air hockey table that's carpeted with an abrasion and scratch resistant carpet system. Once it falls, it will cue in line and then move forward to our cutting head. And I'll show you how that works. This part of the cutting process is where the magic happens. It's a two-stage process you'll see behind me. Uh, first, the machine is going to edge delete the glass. Edge deletion is creating an abrasive surface, is roughing the edge of each piece of the insulated glass so that we get a firm bond for our spacer system to adhere to. It's a very critical and important step to keep the seal of the glass intact, to keep all the argon gas, which we'll go into later, inside of that unit. After it edge deletes the perimeter, the cutting wheel will come behind it and cut out each individual piece of glass. This particular machine was custom built for Sun Windows and is actually the fastest glass cutter in North America. It's pretty interesting to, to watch it in action. At this stage, our operator is going to interact with our proprietary software that looks ahead and batches two days worth of production orders to optimize the yield of the cuts of each piece of glass in our larger 72 by 96 sheet. So our software is looking ahead and optimizing over several hundred units to get the most, the maximum efficient yield out of our 72 by 96 sheets of glass. As you can see up here, the yield number on this particular sheet is 91.28%. It's important to note that the remaining nine, roughly 9% uh, of that glass is not going to waste but it's going to be recycled as cullet, which will go back to our supplier, put in a furnace, and then go back into use in future windows. You'll notice that these numbers are not in order. That's because the windows coming out of this piece of glass are not for one production order. They could be for a house in Birmingham, Alabama, and a house in Owensboro, Kentucky. So the operator, as they break out each piece, will reference the screen and then place them and they're allotted an appropriate queue staging for our next step in the process of glass washing. If you follow me, I'll show you. This is the third step in the process of manufacturing insulated glass here at Sun Windows. Uh, behind me, you'll see the, uh, the beginning of the washing process. And as our operator is loading both the clear and low E pieces of glass that we saw come off the cutter, 
They're going to be loaded and ran through a high temp, high pressure washer. This is a very important part of the process because after this glass is cleaned, it's going to move into our environmental room where it's going to be permanently sealed and bonded as an insulated glass unit, meaning this glass is the last time that it will ever be exposed to the outer air before it's permanently installed in your home. As you can see, we're loading the glass. It's very important and critical that we put the low E coating on the top side. So when it's sealed, it's sealed correctly inside. And we'll witness uh, our machine actually has a detection system set up just in case you were to accidentally, the operators accidentally flip the low E portion on the wrong side. So that's notifying the operator that the low E is on the incorrect surface and that that piece of glass needs to be flipped over. As you can see, it's transferring into the wash. So we'll follow the glass along to the next step where we'll meet it in the environmental room for the spacer to be applied. Uh, the glass has come through the washer at this point on a conveyor and is going to stop and a robotic arm is going to apply the spacer around the perimeter of one side of the glass. And while it applies the spacer, it's actually ink jetting in each individual window a unique code identifier. You can see on this example spacer, it has the NF NFRC, which is a regulatory body. It has the date of manufacture, and it has the order number and the line item number. This is a this is really cool feature that we offer. So if little Johnny throws a baseball through a window five years from now, the homeowner can simply look inside of their window and read these numbers, call us, and we'll know that it was the lower guest bedroom window in a house in Birmingham, Alabama. We can get that glass on order and get it shipped out without any guesswork in the process or any, any further measuring. When you look at the application of our spacer, it is Duralite Spacer made by Quanex Industries. This is the industry leading spacer technology. It's a full warm edge and there's no metal in the spacer whatsoever. It has a bendable composite uh, inner core to it, actually developed by a scientist from NASA for use in uh, spacecraft. And now it's made its way into window and door technology. So it's really cool. It provides a continuous seal. There's no mechanical fasteners on this spacer, so it seals it around. You'll watch the application around all four sides, leaving only one edge open for our argon gas insertion, which we'll show you at our next step in the process. So you'll follow me. We'll go to uh, how the, uh, the grills are applied and then how we butterfly and seal the windows up. So this is the fourth step in the process. This is our grill between the glass application. The units now have the spacer system applied to them. You'll see our operator is relying upon our uh, proprietary window software that's showing the exact placement and location of the grids inside of the window. Those grids are also marked by the same inkjet printer that prints out the order number on each individual unit to help the operator ensure proper alignment. At this stage, the operator is also inspecting the glass unit as it's the last stage before that is sealed uh, permanently and forever. So if there are any defects inside of the glass or dirt debris, they have the opportunity to clean them or reject the unit altogether. Moving down from our grill application is our automatic butterfly assembly table. This is where the units are going to become mated together prior to going into the oven uh, for permanent bonding. So the table is going to lift up and it's going to top the low E portion of the glass with the grill inside of it with the clear glass on top of it and then move it forward into the oven press. And now we're gonna exit the environmental room and go check out the back end of the oven and see the next step in the, in the process. All right, so at this stage in the process, the units have now been topped They've exited the environmental room and the conveyor system is taking them into our constant pressure roller oven where the units will have 115 degree heat applied to them for approximately one minute with even continuous pressure over the rollers. What that's going to do is allow this warm edge spacer system to ensure the optimal melt temperature and bonding 
to both the top and bottom unit so that it creates a permanent and everlasting seal. Now let's go check out the end of the oven and watch the units come out where they'll meet the laser etching and argon fill. So this leads us to the seventh and final step of insulating glass at Sun Windows. The glass has now come out of the oven and is gonna go through our laser etcher, which is going to etch our logo and the data manufacturer into every single glass unit that we produce. After the laser is etched, then the glass will be turned upright and put on our racks with the fourth corner that was left unsealed still open so that we can insert argon gas to an optimal 90 to 95% fill ratio inside of every unit. Argon's very important because it's 38% more dense than air. And what that does is it stops the convection process of the cold air outside and the hot air inside wants to circulate where you get that heat loss from inside of your home. And this slows and stops that process uh, from evolving. So the argon units or the argon air will be filled into each unit and then we will manually seal the fourth corner, which is one of the most critical and important steps of manufacturing here at Sun Windows, because that's going to ensure that that argon gas stays in that unit for the lifetime of your product. It's important to note that we always seal the fourth corner at the top of the unit because argon is more dense in air. Argon naturally settles to the bottom of the unit where we have a full continuous seal. That's important because it allows Sun Windows to enjoy about twice as much argon retention rate as our competition. We're an industry leader in argon gas retention because of our spacer system. A lot of companies buy their insulated glass units from outside vendors. At Sun Windows, we believe it's worth the added work as it gives us complete control over the quality of the product, and that's what matters the most.